the procedure for spore staining is starts out exactly the same as for gram staining. You put your sample on in a little puddle of water, you spread it out, you dry it, and you heat fix it. Um, then you take your bacillus sample, you put it on um, a beaker that has some boiling water on it. The combination of the heat and the correct stain will allow the boiling water, or the, 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 the stain, the malachite green, to get into the spore. So what you do is you have your heat fixed sample on here and you put this right on top of the slide, uh, the slide right on top of the beaker that's of boiling water. And then you just simply take drops of malachite green and put it right over the top of the sample. The important thing is to watch this every once in a while, every five minutes or so, two minutes or so. Go back and look at this. This has got to stay wet. If this dries out, the same thing won't work. You do this and baby it for about five minutes. Then you wash off your sample like you do with the gram stain, just with water. And all the spores should be stained this, this malachite green color. To see the, spore, the rest of the cell body, you take your slide, put it on your tray, and flood it with saffron in for a minute. Wash it off, blot it with bibulous paper, and now you have red cells with hopefully blue-green spores on the inside.